Hi guys, I'm Stephanie with PDQ.com. Today we're going to learn how to join two tables together in two different ways. Um, so let's just jump right into it here. We're going to uh, stick with our select star statement from computers like we used in past videos here. So I've already got that written out. But what happens when we want to get data in our, in our result set from two different tables? How do we do it? We join them together using a similar column. We usually call these uh, like a primary key uh, connected with the foreign key, but the tables do have to have something in, uh, in common, which usually is a column name. So let's stick with computers and we're going to join computer scans to it. If we look at our select star from computers, what does computers table and the computer scans table have in common? We will see here that the primary key of the computers table is computer ID. And computer scans table also has a computer ID column. So we're going to use that column to, con to join them together. So we're going to say select star from computers, join computer scans on. We're going to use the computer ID column. We do have to call out the table dot column. So we're going to say computers dot computer ID equals computer scans dot computer ID. That lets the engine know that we're using the computer ID from each column to get those two tables together. We execute the query and we will realize that we have every single column um, and row from both tables because we did the select star. Now if we were to break that up um, by column names then we would have a lot less columns but you could see here that both of the tables are successfully joined together. Another way of doing that very easily is um, cutting out like a little bit of a time consuming middle step. You can just use the word using. So we could say select star from computers, join the computer scans table using computer ID. So I do that here with using and we put the computer ID in parentheses and it renders the same exact results. Um, so if we were to go ahead and drop this into PDQ inventory just to show you here, I'll go ahead and pull up the SQL report that I've already saved. And when I look at it in um, inventory, it will throw a similar bug if you use a select star. The only reason it does that is because the computer scans table and the computers table has a couple different columns that have the same name. So um, just for some reason, the text editor doesn't throw a bug. Inventory does, which is actually a really good feature of inventory. So in, for this purpose, in this example, I'm just going to use a few columns two from computers, one from computer scans. So we're going to select the computer ID and computer name column from the computer table and just the finished this computer from the computer scans table. And we're going to do it the same exact way um, using the computer ID. And instead of having all these different columns, we'll only have three columns in our result set. That's a pretty good example of joining two tables in two different ways. Thanks for watching. I'm Stephanie with PDQ.com.